Hello everybody, I'm El Bristow, welcome back to Elotopia Gaming. Let's take a look at the new game from Clay Entertainment, Invisible Ink. Welcome to the first of a kind of new format of first play episode. I've decided that I'm going to divert away from the live play webcam approach to first play episodes so that I can give you guys a slightly more focused and targeted first view of some of the games that I'm going to be having a look at. And the first one that I'm going to be doing is this new game from Clay Entertainment, the guys who brought us Don't Starve, and that is Invisible Ink. Now this is quite different to Don't Starve. This is a point and click turn based stealth game so the point and click bits the same as don't starve but this is a very different kind of game to don't starve the idea behind this is that you play two secret agents trying to prevent some unknown event that is expected to happen in the next 72 hours and you need to take what time you can to gather resources and skills to prevent or fight against that coming event in order to do that, the game takes the form of a series of infiltration missions which you can pick from the world map in story mode and you have two agents that you can send in to infiltrate a building either to collect funds or to collect certain pieces of special equipment which will help you in this end mission that occurs after the 72 hours have elapsed. Now obviously I started by playing through the tutorial which you can see here and the controls are very easy to get used to. The difficulty of the game however is very difficult to get used to. It is quite a challenging game and I've only in story mode managed to get through one or two levels before both of my agents are wiped out by the opposition. So it's going to be one of those games that's five minutes to pick up and a long long time before you're going to be able to put this down and say that you have completed it. After the tutorial missions you head into the story mode and at the start of story mode you get to pick which agents you want to take with you and which incognita abilities those agents will be able to access. Now because this was my first play I had no choice as to what agents or incognita abilities I was able to choose but in a very similar way to how Don't Starve works the more you play the game you gain experience which unlocks new characters and new abilities that you can use. All the levels are procedurally generated so every time you play through it it is a different challenge which makes the game very replayable. In each level you have a number of hackable items and you hit the spacebar to enter incognita mode where you can use power that you either accumulate at a rate of one per turn or you can gather by hacking terminals around the level and in incognito mode you can hack secured items such as safes or perhaps the security cameras and the controls for various other different items on the level and by hacking those obviously you get to use those to your advantage if you hack a safe you can take the contents of the safe if you hack a camera you can see what's in the room when you are not However, those same security devices do work against you because on each level you have an alarm level and that is how alert the guards or the corporation that you are infiltrating are aware to the fact that your agents are present in their building. Now as that alarm level increases that could activate perhaps new cameras or it puts new guards on patrol and eventually it leads to the unleashing of some very elite guards who are very very quick and hunt you down very quickly so you have to get out of that level really really quickly I've had some great fun playing this game I really have enjoyed it and it's the, probably the first time that I've uh, picked up a game for a first play for a while recorded the footage and then immediately started to continue playing the game now as part of my new first play format I thought it was about time that I come up with my own rating system for the indie games that I play as a part of this series so that's exactly what I've done I've come up with a 10 joystick pointing system for these games and that will be based on the graphics the playability originality functionality and the polish of the game each of those five elements will be able to score a maximum of two joysticks 
which will lead to a maximum total of 10 joysticks for each game that I play from this point on. However, each game can also receive the Elatopia seal of approval, which basically says whether I think you should go and get it or play it, even if you torrent it. Just go and play it, get it. Or don't, you know, whatever. So here we go, here's the ratings for Invisible Ink. For graphics, I've given it 1.5. I do like the graphics, but of course it's not a full 3D, you know, first person immersive kind of graphic experience. So it's a bit difficult to give it a full two joysticks, but 1.5 is a pretty good start. Playability, I loved it, I love playing it. I don't know how replayable it will be in the long run, that remains to be seen. And of course it's early access, so for now it gets 1.5 for playability. Too. For the originality element, I've given it one of a possible two joysticks. Reason being, you know, turn based games have been around for a while, stealth games have been around for a while. The actual concept is not original, but they have done a very good job of putting their own spin on this genre, so they do deserve some recognition for that. On the functionality category, I have given this the full two joysticks. The controls are very easy to learn and they have a very familiar feel to them, so they get a full two joysticks for that. In the polish category, this is kind of the uh, the redeeming factor for some of the lower grade games. This game really doesn't need it. The polish is great. So I've given this uh, 1.5 sticks. So the total score is seven and a half out of a possible 10 joysticks. Now I realize that currently that doesn't really mean very much because I haven't rated any other games. However, seven and a half out of 10 is gonna be a pretty good yardstick for other games to try and follow. And regardless of the score, I am giving this the Elatopia seal of approval. I really think you should look at getting into playing this game. I've really enjoyed playing this so far and I do plan to see how far I can get. If you're interested in me doing a series on my channel in this game, please let me know in the comments and I will of course consider that. But in the interim, you can pick this game up on Early Access from Steam. I will add the link to the description of this video so you can go and take a look at it for yourself. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, kind of new format, this new approach to first play episodes. Let me know what you think in the comments and please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I have been Elbristo, you've been watching Elatopia Gaming playing Invisible Ink. I will see you next time guys, see you later.